Welcome back, Joystick Justice League. Uh, this is me, Mike Ferruccio's back from my hiatus of several months. Uh, you may be wondering uh, where I was. I was, uh, a couple of things happened. I, I broke my ankle, first of all, back in January, and I was in my living room for three months uh, with a lot of nothing to do. Um, and also, Gamergate happened. And uh, my political awakening happened, and a lot of crazy stuff happened in my life. Uh, to the point where I think my head got so far down the rabbit hole that it kind of got stuck there. And I was just, I don't know, I just really lost my nerve in terms of being able to go back on YouTube. I, uh, I, I'll be honest, my involvement in the early, I wouldn't say involvement, my interest and my following of and my uh, association with Gamergate, at least for the first couple of months while it was still interesting, um, definitely caused some controversy in my life, possibly turning me away from most of the video game community. Uh, not all of it, but a good chunk of it. <laughs> um, you know, who obviously didn't side with Gamergate. Um, I don't know. It, it is what it is. I still prescribe to what it was originally about, which was ethics and cleaning that up within the video game journalism industry. Whatever it became as it got co-opted by other interests is outside of my hands. But what it really did was it made me wake up. Well, the things I already knew about the game industry, I knew it was already kind of corrupt, but it was, it was really, it gave me some closure to finally see the evidence. And it really made me reevaluate me as a YouTuber. Uh, I'm nothing special. I only have about 50 subscribers. Most, of, most people don't even know who I am. Um, but I still contribute in some small way to the dialogue that runs on the internet surrounding this medium that we all love. And um, really, the whole reason why Joystick Justice League was started in the first place was to give some integrity, uh, you know, back to what I saw was becoming a corrupted industry and becoming a corrupt media, um, to give some truth, especially I'm 35 years old. I've been following the game industry in some form since I was, at, I, I could, register Donkey Kong and, and play Pac-Man. Like two or three years of age playing Atari 2600, those are my first real memories and just being obsessed with video games from then on until today. So I've, I've seen so much of what's happened throughout the generations, the rises, the falls, the successes, the failures, and which has given me this ability to no, not always be 100% to but kind of prophesize what's gonna kind of happen like I, I I would say that a lot of my predictions in terms of what happens in video games more often are true than not uh, just from understanding how the industry works how it runs in cycles what works what doesn't and also keeping my ear to the ground of what the industry and the community is into and um, you know that's helped along by uh, being on Twitch TV you know just being in touch especially with younger gamers and understanding what they're into um, that's another thing too I've been off of Twitch for months um, again in all transparency in the you know my my uh, my aim to be as transparent and honest with you as possible and to never break ethics obviously I went through a down period and I kind of lost my nerve for going online on Twitch as well working on that uh, but at least jot down that my Twitch channel is 24-Bit Heroes, and at some point, if you follow me on Twitter, at uh, DFL Bag Boy or Duffel Bag Boy on Twitter, or on Facebook, Mike Frusios, you can kind of keep up with me and find out when new videos come out on Joystick Justice League, or you can hit subscribe, and also when I go online on Twitch, which I'm hoping to do a lot more of this summer as a lot of these new releases start coming out. There's a lot of stuff I really want to stream, especially since I finally got a Wii U during my injury when I broke my ankle in January. I got a Wii U to pass the time, so I have all this new awesome stuff that I want to stream. Really hot in my apartment tonight. So anyway, this is me back on Joystick Justice League with kind of uh, a new way of doing things. I, I kind of left this at uh, rebranding. You remember when I last made my last videos, I was getting into this new format called J JJL Live, which was like a one hour weekly podcast, news roundup, multi-plat, kind of going over the best and worst headlines of the week. Great idea in theory, but in practice, a lot to handle uh, for just one person, especially kind of going through what I was going through the last few months. It was, it was kind of rough. I'm more accustomed to having a co-host to kind of bounce off of, so it's something I'd like to get back into eventually. But I figure now, at least 
with YouTube and kind of like the change in how people view videos, I think keeping it topical, video by video, one topic, one video, five, 10, 15 minutes max is kind of the way I want to go now. I'm, I've been watching other YouTubers who are successful and that's typically the maximum time per clip, five, 10, 15 minutes. You know, we all have a lot of channels we subscribe to. Obviously I'm not gonna hog all your time, but if I can get a few words in there, in the midst of your day, that's the whole point. So we'll try that. It's not just gonna be about headlines. It's, if it's a slow news day and there aren't any great headlines to talk about, I'll talk about a great new indie game that's coming out or maybe do a spotlight on a particular developer or a publisher or talk about maybe a hidden gem that you haven't played from my gaming past that I feel enough people haven't played, need to rediscover and it's still out there for you to get your hands on without spending too much money. So it's kind of free format. I'm not going with a lot of crazy show formats anymore. Like I had Betamax, I had Rage Quitters, I had all these different formats. And really I'm just one host and it's just easier to go topic by topic and keep it open like that. I mentioned Twitter before. Um, you know, obviously I'm a very de divisive personality on Twitter at DFL bag boy, duffel bag boy, um, because I don't just talk about video games on Twitter. All right. So I'm sure if you've seen my, my posts, it's a, it goes into politics. It goes into, uh, you know, some alternative ideas and stuff like that. That's my Twitter. That's my outlet for that stuff. This channel is my outlet for my gaming. So I'm not really mixing the two, but at the same time, Politically, if I find, if I see something that maybe stinks in the industry or something that needs to reform, um, I'm not going to be afraid to talk about it. But at the same time, you're not going to see me try to push a political agenda when the discussion is just supposed to be about games. All right, politics, Twitter, video games, YouTube. All right, so that's the way I'd like to kind of run this channel. This is my outlet for positivity. And like, really, why did I come back? Um, you know, I'm not a huge deal on YouTube, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of other channels that do what I do. It's, it's really just an outlet for me to talk about what I love to do. Um, what I love to play this, 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 uh, industry, this medium that is, has been a passion of mine for my, pretty much my whole life. Um, and to maybe find some other people like you out there who feel the same way about games and maybe want to chat and talk about this kind of stuff on a deeper level. So that's really why I came back, to kind of look at things positively. Gaming has gotten so negative over the last year, um, especially with what's going on in the industry between ga Gamergate, anti-Gamergate, feminists, anti-feminists, uh, all of the divide and conquer, civil war that's going on right now. A lot of us, myself included, really just need to take a step back, and that's what I'm doing now, taking a step back, remembering why we play games in the first place for fun, for a bit of an escape from reality. That's it, all right? So this is the new Joystick Justice League, Mike Frusios, hoping to make this a trend of making videos on the regular. Can't promise anything, okay? So like I said, I kind of went through, came from a dark place the last few months. It took me this long to even press record on my camera and to even have the confidence to speak into it again without getting too heavy, you know, that's my journey. So the fact that I'm recording tonight is a good sign and especially because I've been getting inspired lately by some of the things I'm seeing happening in the game industry, which is making me feel more positive. So I know there's gonna be a lot of stuff to talk about. So again, Mike Frusos for the Joystick Justice League here on YouTube, hit subscribe. If you like some of the videos, make sure you send, share them with your friends, make the comment fields are open. So love or hate, write down what you feel, keep the discussion going and uh, stay tuned. Cause I got a really cool video coming up next. Peace.